Muse can have a lot of different features that aren't built into the program added to it. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to add a blog widget, which means you can take a WordPress blog, you can take a Medium blog, Tumblr blog, all different kinds of blogs, and pull them in as an RSS feed, which is actually pretty cool. It's pretty simple to do. And you can see here's an example, and this is the, uh, the creators here actually created this site to do this. So it's just going to pull in the different content that you can then click on and probably go to the actual blog to see what it is. To do this, I'm going to go back over to Muse. Make sure you've got the latest version of Muse. Open up a site that you want to put this into. And this could be in a phone version, a tablet version, or a desktop version. So it really depends on which kind of layout you want to put it in. Well, there's a lot of ways to do that. But anyway, double click on a page or open a page, and we're going to insert this. Now, to get this, it's not built into Muse. We have to go get it. If you come to the library panel over here, and you should hopefully see it out there. If you don't see it over on the right, come under Window, and you'll see Library. You can open up the panel there. Now, you're going to see that we have Find More Library Items Online. You may not see anything in here. This is blank by default. I already got what we need, so I'm going to show you how to get it. So click Online, or whatever shows over here, and it's going to take you up to the Adobe Muse featured widget or the widget page here. And what we can do is we can do a little sort. So there's a lot of different types of widgets you can use. This is hopefully eye-opening for some of you. This is awesome. Adding other features or different you know, functionality to Muse that maybe wasn't there before. If you come under Filter By, you can see Free. This is what I tend to do. And then you can scroll down and take a look here. And this one's probably already out there. I probably didn't need to do that. But as I look in here, I'll see, where is it, where is it, where is it? We can also sort by different things. I'm going to click on Next. There we go. You're going to see RSS blog by 123muse.com. If you click on that, you're going to see this is actually free. You can preview it if you want. That took me to that website, the Nomad Dreamers, or you can get the widget. So click Get This Widget. What it's going to do is it's going to download it. You should see it down there. It's going to download the file itself. You then want to go to that file, which is a Moolib, you can see right there. And what you want to do is you want to double click on it to open up Muse. Hopefully Muse is already open. It should add it to your library panel automatically. So it should show up in here then. After it does, it'll show you a menu, and then you can click OK or whatever it says. You can also do something like import a Muse library to import it as well. So find that little file and import it. You should then see the folder called RSS blog. If I open that up, I'll see RSS blog right here. You can just drag that in, drop it into your page. Now, this can be edited. We can do a lot of things with this. It's kind of weird the way this works. Okay, I just want to start out by saying that because there's actually a box, if I click away from it, there's a box here which controls the look and the feel, the formatting for the text that's brought in. For the feed, okay? We don't want to delete this. This will not show when your page is uh, out there on the web, okay, when you, when you actually publish it. You can take this box here and you can resize it. You can scroll, scale, do all the different things you want to do here. I want to just make it a little bit smaller, for instance, and it'll just fit everything back in there. There we go. Now, this is a, a default feed that they have in here. So to change this, what we're going to do is make sure you click on this big box with the text in it. You're going to see the blue arrow right here. Click on that, and that'll get us the options here. Now, you can pick what kind of blog you want. Now, it's really weird, but you're going to see that we have two different kinds of blogs choosing here. We have WordPress and we have Other. Other, if you have images you want to put in, you can. Or you can say images to the left. You can do that too. WordPress will not bring in any media because WordPress has a lot. There's a lot of things you can do in there. So if you want to use WordPress, for instance, you can choose WordPress here. Now it's going to say, okay, well, what do you want to do now? The big thing here is we have to get the RSS feed URL. Now, where do you get that from? Well, if you have a WordPress site, a lot of WordPress sites actually have uh, plugins that you use for RSS, but there's also some built-in RSS feeds you can get. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to go out to the browser, and I'll show you this really quick. Here we go. You don't have to go here. I just wanted to show you this. But WordPress actually has a series of built-in feeds. This is just a way to get the information from the blog, the different uh, posts that people put in there, to another source, to an RSS reader, to maybe Muse, other places. And you're going to see Finding Your Feed URL. Here are some different ways that you can find it. Now you're going to see that 
if you have permalinks turned on, and I'm talking to those of you who know that that means, if you look at the URL in your WordPress blog and you just see words, things like this right here, then that means that there are custom permalinks. If you see something like this, like a dollar sign, or excuse me, a question mark, a word, then an equal, that kind of thing, that sort of stuff in the URL up here, it probably means that it's using the default URL schema, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in something like this. Now, I have permalinks, which most people are gonna do on their blog. What you can do is you can actually just type in the name of your blog, slash feed, you can try that. If that doesn't work, you can try slash feed, slash RSS, and you can try all these. If you don't, if that doesn't work, you can try these as well, okay? So just, you can pause the video, look at these, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna replace the example right here, the word, with your URL, with your name. So let me go do that. I'm actually gonna copy this because I'm lazy. I'll go back over to Muse, and I'm gonna click on that blue arrow again, and I'll come right in here at RSS feed URL and paste it in there, and I'm gonna change the example.com to my URL. Anyway, training, did I get it right? .com, there we go. Now if I press enter or return, or if I just click in another field, for instance, it should go out and grab the feed automatically. There we go, nice. So you can see, mine's garbage. It's just, I put in some fake stuff here, you can see. Adobe Muse post. So I started working with the US, uh, the Adobe Muse RSS widget. All right, I'm gonna click on the blue arrow again. Now we can go in and we can start to change some different information here. You can change if you have images, if it's not a WordPress blog, maybe it's Tumblr, you can change the width of the images if you want. You can also go in and change the feed ID, which is important. I would do that. Feed it to something that you know. It's going to be an ID. It's, this is hidden for you. You can change the number of posts if you want. You can say number 5, 10, whatever you want. Change the spacing between. That's typically the vertical spacing. You can say let's not show content or show the content. You can see right there. It's just going to show titles and dates, for instance. You can say show media. Like they said, the makers of this said for WordPress, it's not going to show media. If you want, let me actually do this. I'm going to say show more posts here. There we go. If you want, you can also use snippets, which means just a shorter or I guess you could say a summarized version or a cutoff version of the, uh, the actual content. And you can link content. Don't do that. But that's going to take all the text in each one of these and make it a link. We can also do different things like sort by date. I'm going to sort by newest. So I've got the latest one up there. That's kind of cool. And we could do all kinds of things. We could say tickers and all kinds. Of, you guys explore some of this. I just wanted to get you in here. The next thing we can do is we can go in and move this around. We can resize it. We can do different things with it, position it. We're not going to delete this box, but you can take the box and maybe move it off to the side because it's going to be hidden when you actually publish this. Now, the other thing we can do is we can go and change the formatting a bit. So if you come under window here, Come to paragraph styles if it's not up there already. And you're going to see that we have three styles in here we can change. RSS date, paragraph, and title. Right here in this gray box, we have title, which you can select. We have date, and we have paragraph. So we can go in, and each one has a style applied. So for instance, if I go to the date here, I'm going to change that. Maybe I'll change the color or something. I'm going to pick something kind of ridiculous here. I'll pick red. You can see there it is right there. Then I can go back to the paragraph styles, and I can update this style. So I'll click on re Redefine Selected Style. Now, it's not going to really do it in here. The preview in here is kind of rough. You have to kind of close and open Muse, mostly. But I can go out and preview this now. So I'll say Preview Page in Browser and take a look at it. And there you go. You can see the change right there. Now, you might not get some of these to change. If you change the title, for instance, it might still be blue and underlined or something like that. That's kind of rough to do, but... We can go in and change all the different formatting that they provide us, I should say, the date, the paragraph, and the title. This is a really simple way to get your blog posts in, to pull it from a blog that you have existing, from Medium, from Tumblr, from WordPress, all kinds of different places.